hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i have come with another react native tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to install react navigation in react native and how to implement it in our app so let's get started so here is our app okay in previous tutorials i have shown you how you can design this login screen and how you can implement custom fonts to your react native app so if you haven't watched those videos i recommend you go and first watch them and then if you watch this it will be easier for you to understand because i'm going to implement a react navigation in this project only okay so if you like this kind of tutorial and you learned something from this tutorial videos from me then give this video a like and hit the subscribe button for more tutorial videos okay so this is react navigation documentation okay and currently it is version 3 okay so here we have the guidance for the installation okay so i am going to follow these steps from here okay i'm using npm over here on my machine so i will use this command okay so i will just put this command and what it will do it will install that react navigation to our package and it will save this to our package.json okay so hit enter so this package is added and then we need to install this react native gesture handler so i copy pasted it and hit enter so this has been also done so right now after that we need to link this so for link all native dependency this is the code okay so I copy pasted it and hit enter so linking has been successfully over here so right now we don't need to do anything for iOS platform but for Android we need to do something so what we need to do let's check it out over here we can see that we have to do some modification in this main activity dot java file okay and these are the lines which we need to add so I have come over here in Android app folder src within main there is a Java folder and within that Java folder we can see that main activity dot Java file okay so in this file we need to add few lines so I'm just copying it and remove these plus signs also this override and over here also remove this plus okay so we have done it and now save this and close it okay so we have done the configuration for android also now if we go to package.json over here we can see that react native gesture handler and react navigation is our dependency okay so it is installed properly over here now we are going to implement it on our app okay so right now what happens when we click on login okay we see an alert box over here okay on ios also we see an alert box right so what i'm going to do i'm going to implement when an user will click on login button then they will redirect to another screen okay right now there is no implementation no functionalities for login check the username and password validation okay this is just for the navigation purpose so when an user will click on login button they will redirect to another screen for login functionalities we will see it later okay so when we click on login we will redirect to 
a new screen okay this is our goal over here so I have come over here moving between screens okay and over here to navigate between screens we have to import this create stack navigator and create app container from react navigation package okay so we have imported it and we have right now this app component over here okay so this is our main component but we need to modify it okay so let me see over here we have home screen over here okay and on home screen there is a button and this is the code to navigate to another screen okay so first of all what i need to do i need to make a copy of it okay i'm creating a home screen okay and over here i have to copy all this thing i have copied the render from here to home screen okay so this will be our home screen and in app component we will return other things okay so right now i leave it blank so this is our home screen and i'm going to create another screen so over here i can see the detail screen so i just copy it and i create it detail screen and i have already imported components so i can remove the react dot and over here i don't need this button i'm just removing it okay so we have detail screen component we have home screen component and we have the main app component okay so now const root stack equal to create stack navigator and over here we will pass some information of our screens okay so here home will be home screen and details will be detail screen okay and our initial route name will be home okay and i have to wrap it in braces okay this is how it should be okay and after that create another constant app container equal to create app container and over here we will pass this root stack on app we will return app container like this okay so if i save it now let's just check it on ios i have hot reloading enabled and over here it is showing some error okay so how to get rid of this error so to get rid of this error i have to do one thing i need to close this metro bundler process okay and rebuild our project again because after installing this react navigation package we haven't built our project and sometimes it is necessary to build the project again after installing third party packages okay so i'm going to clear it and for android also i'm going to close it okay now again i have to do react native run android for android the build is successful for android let me check it so on android it is showing and now built for ios so for ios also it has been built successfully and our app is showing without any error right but right now we can see that there is a white color bar at the top of the screen and on android also we can see that this white bar is present over there and it looks quite ugly we need to get rid of this right 
so we have to do some customizations over here okay so here static navigation options header will be none okay so save it now we can see that the ugly header is removed from our screen okay now check for android i enable hot reloading also over here okay so on both the platform the app looks quite nice okay and now we have to navigate it to next screen right now if we click on login it is it is showing the same alert so what we need to do we need to on press over here we need to pass some details okay so it will be this props dot navigation dot navigate and navigate should be this or this okay so we need to navigate the user to detail screen okay so we will put details over here now if we save it now i click on login now we can see that there is a navigation and it is showing the detail screen and if we click on back then we can back to the previous screen okay and for android also let me check it if we click on login then we can see the detail screen if we tap on back button then we will back to the previous screen okay now i want to make few customizations over here okay so for detail screen here i want to display our title okay and title will be my app okay so if i save it now let me go to over here we can see that my app is showing on android if we click on login now we can see that the heading title is showing over here but the title is not aligned center it is on left hand side but on over here we can see that on ios it is showing on center and it looks quite good but it is not that much helpful for me so i want it to align it center so how to do that okay so let me do some customizations over here this is our default area okay where we can set the customizations for our navigation for all these screens okay over here i will put some default customizations for all these screens which we will create okay so it will be default navigation options header style i want to give it a background color which will be reflected to our main app background color okay so over here background color will be what was our background color this is our background color so this will be the color okay so let me check okay so there is a mistake this default navigation options should be within this press okay so reload it now click on login over here now we can see that our header color is changed right now okay but text color needs to be updated okay so now let's do that header tint color i will make this white okay so this is the back button okay and for android we can see that it is showing properly but we need to make it center right okay so for this header title style it it should be text align center also 
flex should be one okay so now we can see that our title has been pushed to the right side and it is not exact in the center so we need to make it center properly so to do this we have to do some customizations over here on detail screen okay on detail screen the navigation option we need to do some customizations this is a hack by which we are giving the title a proper center alignment okay right now it is not aligned properly center because of this back button okay over here this back button is getting some area okay so if we are providing the text align center then it is getting the area of this kind of area so from this point of view the title is aligned centered properly but title needs to be fit in center properly so what we need to do on the left hand side we have area which is occupied by this back button so on the right side also we need to provide some blank space which will take some space in right side also so then it will take some middle space and within that middle space the text align will be centered properly okay so here header right should be a view a blank view okay so now save it let me check if i now click on login now we can see that my app is centered properly okay this is a fix for android okay now let me check it for ios also if it is working properly on ios or not so for ios it is working properly and there is no extra modifications or changes by this header right okay so this all looks great on both the platform so this is how we can implement the screen navigation to react native app using react navigation okay so if you learn something from this tutorial like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i will see you later on my next tutorial okay thank you